Hello and welcome to this how-to video from Barnabas Junction. Today I'm going to be showing you how simple it is to upgrade the lighting modules in the front of the old HST models which are fitted with old bulbs. So let's get on. So here I have two HSTs uh, of the Virgin livery. These were a set that I had uh, purchased for me for as a present many years ago and they are of the old bulb style headlighting at the fronts here and here. This is the Red Arrows collection and I'm going, I've already done one of them and I thought I'd show you how e easy it is now to do this second one. So we're over here on the DC line of Barnabas Junction and I'm going to show you the how low um, the brightness is of these bulbs. As you can see, they only come on in the direction of travel, so that would be like heading towards the camera now. And if we're going to reverse, nothing. So what we want to effectively do is we're going to upgrade these now to LED lights and make them much brighter. And obviously, we want to have tail lights when operating in reverse. So we'll go back over to the bench now and we'll show you how it's done. So here we are back at the bench. I'll now um, give you a rundown of how we're going to change the lighting on these DC locomotives. Um, the one nearest me, that is the dummy and that's the one we're going to upgrade. The power car has already been done. Um, so I can move that one to one side. So we're going to change the lighting from the bulb to new LED strip board. I have the existing one I've already done here. That's the old bulb. That's what we're going to be taking out and fitting in these LED boards as a replacement. So these were supplied by Black Cat Technology. For those of you who wish to follow up on this, I'll put a link to their website in the description below. So first thing we need to do is remove the body, which can simply be done by lifting the side sections on both sides off the tabs and just gently lifting so the rear releases. Do not pull the front, lift off and slide forward which then releases the body. And now we have the insert internal area. So what we need to be doing is replacing the bulb here at the very front. The procedure is identical for all the power cars and the dummies. There's no changes to anything or anything to do with the motor. So what we first need to do is to remove the cab seating. So we pull that cab seating section off and put that to one side. This gives us access to the front. With the body removed and now the bulb visible at the front beneath the seating area, the wiring from the bulb that goes to the pickups of the bogies, one of these being part of the motor bogey on the power car, no different pretty much, that would be this one the same with the dummy. This one being having a diode in this. For the lighting to work this diode will need to be either removed or bridged with a little bit of wire which I already have a little piece of wire here in readiness 
to fit across the two. You can remove the diode, but I recommend not to, as if you ever wish to revert these back to the original bulbs, you, uh, maybe the set becomes damaged and you want to keep hold of the PC board that you've put in the front, you can then later just remove that and return it back to its factory state. So, all we need to do here now then is remove the two front pegs which hold in the lighting section and gently lift off the bulb that is situated there. Put that to one side and keep it safe. And bring in your circuit board. The circuit board itself fits snugly just in the end where the bulb was. You could maybe stick that in place with some sticky back plastic, um, self-adhesive tape, double-sided tape, maybe even just a drop tiny drop of super glue just to keep it in place and all we simply do is get the two wires which were originally in place them back into the slots that they were originally in ensuring that the pegs rest against the contacts behind, in this case A and B. You may find when you come to test it that you may require, due to polarity issues, you may require to swap these over to ensure you get the lighting in the right direction when operating. Now it is also a good idea, as the contact is not always perfectly made, is just to put a little tiny bit of solder to join onto the tab connecting the peg. So we'll go off now and I'll do that. So we're now back, um, I've now put a little tiny bit of solder onto the front ends just to hold those in place to ensure contact between the board and the peg. So what we're going to do now is the diode as the diode is there just to uh, allow illumination during one direction of travel but now we have the new board in we need to um, pow have power reach there in both directions so for this we just simply get a small section of wire placing it over the diode wrapping it around to make contact between the wire on each side of the diode like so so that is now bridge the diode either side which will now allow power to the board when operating in either directions it's a good idea when you have this open either a loco or your dummy to also have a quick look around clearing any bits of fluff, dust, loose ballast from around any wheels, bogies or around the edge, just general servicing. So the last thing we need now to do is to refit the body back onto the chassis. But before we do, there's one minor modification we have to do to allow the room for the PC board and the light to be able to reach out into here. Very simple. 
Inside here, you'll see two tiny pegs that stick out. These originally went straight to the back so the ball could catch them. All you do is just get your finger and just push on them, pushing out the LED front, like so. And there you go. That is your lighting lens from the front of your HST. And what you need to do is just gently and very carefully take off a couple of mil off each of those two pegs. That is it. And it is, this is very fine, just two, maybe three millimeters off those pegs. That's it. Then simply reinsert back in to the front of your HST, ensuring they're well in. You could put possibly a blob of glue on the back, but they should stay in, not a problem. They should not come out, they should be nice and flush. So now we'll just refit this body and then take it back over onto the DC line. We mustn't forget that. Place the cab. Wild first. Tucking everything in. Placing the cab on. Putting it on front end first. Pressing that down until that end clips in. Then pressing the rear. And then finally just press gently and the whole thing should clip together. And there we go. That is how to upgrade the lighting on a DC dummy or power car. Identical procedure for the HST. You can do the same with lots of other locomotives as well, as long as the board will fit in. Um, this is DC. At the moment, I will be upgrading this to DCC at some point. Uh, it's a slightly different procedure with DCC. Um, so look out in the future for the next video um, explaining that. Full instructions are supplied with the boards explaining how to operate and install and any modifications you require to make for DC and DCC operation and additional op uh, changes you can make to operate the board on prototypical operation allowing only um, for one of the headlights to be turned off that sort of thing where you can just make some minor modifications to your board that sort of information is explained there and full after sales support is also available by contacting them back very simple easy and very effective so we'll now take these back over to the DC line and we'll show you the results. So we are back at the DC lines of Barnabas Junction and we're going to show you the difference now um, the headlights have made. So what we'll do is let's show you travelling forward. And there you go vastly different obviously it's not showing up as bright in here because it's quite light in this loft area so that's quite bright and because we have bypassed the diode we do have tail lights now they do illuminate the moment power is supplied to the track unlike with the bulb that the only got brighter as more power was supplied to the line but these are instant as soon as you Add power to the line, they're on immediately. And the power car is identical, it operates exactly the same. Um, so that's on the dummy. So there you go, you've just seen me install that. Very effective, much, much improvement of the old bulb. I hope that you like this video. I hope this helps you in deciding on maybe upgrading your HSTs or other locomotives in your fleet. Please remember this is DC only upgrade at the moment. A full DCC upgrade will be shown 
in another video in the future. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe for future updates. Until the next time, thank you for watching. Bye for now. Bye.